Okay, we're going to do a quick step-by-step -step walkthrough on the IAX RPT install uh, configuration for an Astros All-Star. Very, very simple. What you want to do first, uh, type in IAX RPT in Google. Search. Uh, a couple things are going to come up. Let me show you. You're going to have IAX RPT. You want to open this one. Uh, this is your Windows client. Uh, download. Go ahead and download and install that for if you're going to use it on a Windows computer. Uh, if you're only going to use Android, and the Android app, you can find that on Google Play. Go to Google Play, type in IAX, IAX RPT, and it will pop right up there. Go ahead and install that in your phone. I'll go about go uh, show you how to configure that. Right now, we're going to deal with uh, getting the script into asterisk. So uh, what you want to do is you want to open up this one, the ham VoIP. You're going to want to scroll down, 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 down. Keep going. Here you go. Android AAX RPT version. This is what you want. So go ahead and get this page loaded. You're going to want to open WinSCP and log into your node. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead and log in. This is becoming incredibly frustrating. My phone just won't stop ringing off the hook here. Um, so, okay, what we're going to want to do is go to, we're going to want to open iax.conf. Go ahead and open that. You're going to want to minimize background that screen. Uh, shrink this down, get it all on one screen for you here. Um, okay, get this as big as we can go here. Okay, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. All the way down. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to insert this script right here into this at the bottom of your iax.conf. So go ahead and highlight. You want to copy all of this. Come on down. Just that right there. Copy. Go over to your iax.com folder. All the way at the bottom, just, a, just above the very bottom script here, you want to insert this script in here. So I already have mine in here. So this is the script that's going in. So basically paste that in. You're going to see this. So what you're going to want to do is the only thing you need to change when you insert this is you'll see secret right here. You want to insert your password. Uh, insert a password right here. Uh, I make mine the same as my node password. Um, so make sure you insert a password, uh, delete the X's, put in secret equals, and then your password. Go ahead and hit save up here in the top left hand corner of ix.conf and close. Once you have that done, now we need to open extensions.conf. We need to insert a little piece of script in extensions. So we're going to open extensions.conf. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. I'm going to do the exact same thing. And I don't know why this opens that large. So let me get out of there. Okay, so we need this script right here. Phone IX RPT. Okay, need to copy that. Highlight it, copy it. This is out of the PDF, the Hamvoid PDF. Um, drop this in right at the bottom, just like the other one, just above the include uh, I, if exists custom stroke extensions.conf. Paste that in right here. Come on. Okay, once you get that pasted in, you're going to want to change this, the extension equals XX. You want to put your node number in there. Also, after RPT comma, don't change, don't move anything else. Be, uh, make sure you don't. What I do is I put the cursor in at the end of the X. I backspace, and then I put my node number in. So my node number is four three five one six. Go ahead and put that in there. Hit save. Top left corner. Close. Okay, you are going to want to restart. Uh, do a restart on asterisk. So you remember how to do that. Go into PuTTY, launch PuTTY, log into your node, restart. Okay, and that is it for that. 
basically, now all we have to do is we have to launch the uh, IXRPT in Windows. I'll go through the Windows install for you. We'll be back. Okay. Now we are going to do the configuration for the IXRPT in Windows. So here's the Windows rundown. Uh, hopefully you've got your um, PDF open from HamVoip. Uh, so go, go ahead and make sure you've got that open. So here we go. Uh, you want to scroll down. Uh, this is close to, oh, so you're going to want to scroll back up to the top of the page. Uh, go ahead and open your IAXRPT app, which hopefully you downloaded um, for the Windows and installed. Go ahead and install it. Uh, you're going to need to set up an account. So go to Options, Accounts. You're going to want to click Add. Uh, the account name, I'm just going to title the node. Okay, I don't even put a description in there. Who cares? Uh, host name, you want to put your IP address. Okay. And here's the catch. If you want... Um... get down here oh, this this is very quirky um, right here in your host name this is for Windows okay if you have your port set um, on your all-star node set to anything but four five six nine the UDP port you're going to need to put that in there so you need to put colon mine is set at four five six eight if it's four five six nine don't worry about it um, Put in four or five, whatever yours is. Uh, your username is going to be IAXRPT. Okay. Now, this is different than your Android. This is for Windows. Uh, keep that in mind. Password, put the password in that you put in in your IAX.com folder. Uh, password again. And leave everything else. Uh, you want to, uh, that's right, you want to put in duplex. Set this to duplex, okay? Um, and go ahead and hit save and exit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this off screen quickly. So hang on a second. Okay, go ahead and pause it. Okay, uh, so once you did all that, uh, go ahead and save it and click done at the end and you're gonna come back to the main screen here and you're gonna see your node 43516 or whatever your node is if you hit connect you should see state okay 43516 and you should see everything else is fine now to transmit all you need to do I'm gonna go ahead and check the status of the node if no one is connected, okay, there is one person connected, so I'm not going to key it up. Uh, but if you see this as okay, you're good to go. So to transmit, you can just hit this key. Um, uh, there's also a set of uh, commands. Uh, let's see, your devices. You can go into devices. Make sure your uh, input device is set to your microphone on your, on your desktop. Uh, input source microphone. Um, microphone audio level you're gonna have to kinda play with this to make sure your levels uh, on this meter don't exceed a certain level um, uh, so you don't over deviate you don't kill everybody's system um, let's see you're gonna want uh, one touch keys uh, so here's where you can set up your one touch keys okay um, like on the keyboard if you want to use a key to transmit or whatever. Um, stuff like that. So there's a bunch of different settings in here. Preferences, uh, caller ID. Um, I usually don't mess with this stuff. I uh, just leave it alone. I just use it for talking to. Now you can initiate a DTMF command. Basically all you do is you do a star 5 8 uh, selected called received command complete message 
So basically what I did right there is I disabled the node announcements on the node. So you can do DTMF commands. You can do a star 76, which will drop all links. Uh, very handy. Anyways, we're out of here. Uh, that's the uh, Windows IXRPT app. Very cool. And I'll be back with the Android setup.